Okay. Hi, everybody. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Well, I'm looking forward to doing this Dutch pour. Uh, it's a little warm outside though still, but I have to do it outside because it's bigger. Too big to do it in the house and get paint all over. Especially after I've been painting. Well, my boys have been painting my walls for me. So anyway, uh, I'm doing a 24 by 30 level two artist loft canvas. And I have all my paints mixed with two parts flow trawl, one part paint. And then I just dropped maybe about a half a cup of glue all in, in the whole entire container of flow trawl. So it's kind of mixed with a little bit of glue all. Okay. Just consider it just a little bit of glue all in there in the mix. And then of course I added water to thin them down for a Dutch pour. Um, couldn't decide whether to use the espresso, which is my absolute favorite, the Craft Smart, or <laughs> my other favorite, Deep um, Pearl Brown. So I picked both. <laughs> then I'm gonna use some rose gold, which I love. Actually, prefer the bright rose gold, but I didn't have any, so. <laughs> gold. Champagne. Quite a bit in this one. Pearl marmalade, which is very much close to the rose gold, but a little darker, and it's also like a copper. And uh, pearl space gray. I was going to pick black and I thought, well, maybe not. I'll just go ahead and get the space gray. So I'm going to cover my canvas with the milky white, which I'm going to like because it's going to match my leather couch and that's where my painting's going to be going. So, well, that's about it. So wish me luck. <laughs> I'm going to need it. And yeah, I'm going to be sweating like crazy. But I need light to do this. And I'm gonna set up my big table, extension cord, all that stuff, my hair blower, and have one of my sons hold the camera for me and hope that works out real well, okay? So hope you enjoy uh, this and I hope I enjoy it too <laughs> without stressing out too much. I mean, I've done bigger canvases before, like my biggest one was a 20 by four, no, 30 by 40. And then I did like three or four after that too, but it doesn't matter each time if the bigger, the more I still uh, nervous when I'm doing them. So it happens, so. but I enjoy them. I get a crazy adrenaline rush over it because they're so big and so much pain and so fun. So anyway, we'll get started. Okay, there's the train gone. Okay. 
Let me wipe my hands. Okay, so I'm gonna want it hanging like this. So I'll go from there to space it ready. I'm nervous, I always do. <sighs> Shoot, I can't reach it that way. I have to stand here. or that other brown. Not sure. <coughs> My hip. My hip just almost gave out gold. <laughs> Nervous. Thinking that's too much paint, but we're good. This is a little thinner than the base was. Too much paint anyway. I'm worried I put too much. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Just go for it. I'll put it on cold, pushing the button. Splatter, bummer. Now, since this has got a board underneath, I have to lay it on my table in the front room, and that's where I'm going to go put it now. Do 
give it a little torch. Hope you're seeing it. I like it. <laughs> it's going to look good in there. Okay. And it's shimmering, too. That's neat. Far out, man. Okay, I'm going to go put that in there. Do I need to fix this? No, that looks cool there. All right, I'm going to put it in. So the board's not sticking up because it's in the middle here. And there's edges on this table. Get rid of those bubbles. It is nice. I love it. Sorry if I'm not in view, but I'm holding the camera now. Just don't want no specs. Okay. And it's nice. Gosh, look at that Payne's gray in there. I mean the space gray. Perfect. Oh, I'm delighted with it. Most definitely hang it this way. See, it's going to match that couch. I love this one. It matches in here with that milky white. Sure, I don't drip. Let me wipe my sweat. Beautiful thing. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. And it's so good. <laughs> I'm very delighted. Let me turn the light on now. Love it. Love it so much. I can't tell you how much I love this, especially blowing it out there. It's good. I did that because there were so many splatters. How oh, very nice. Oh, it's beautiful. Turn off my camera again because it's never focused. But yeah, looks like a big branch or something. That is super neat. Now it's focused. Oh, I'm scared I'm gonna look at that champagne in there. Drop my camera. Oh, okay. Well, I know I'm taking up all my time showing it, but I'm blown away by this one. I could not be more happier. So, well, we'll see which way I'm gonna hang it. 
So yeah, see this table? It's like glass and then it comes up with the wood. So it's perfect for drying my paintings. It'll match real good in here. My angels and stuff. Okay, well, that's it. I'll take some pictures and post them in the back. Isn't that something? Preparing all that paint. It's not hard because it was just the milky white was a lot. Made up just the right amount. About two 16 ounce bottles. Then just a little bit of each other color. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. I'm going to cool off. <laughs> Everybody, let me know what you think about it. And don't forget to press that thumbs up button if you like it. If you don't, do what you want. <laughs> All right. I'll catch you later. Have a good one. Bye-bye now.